Hi, yesterday I thought I should try PyTorch C++ API for my Ubuntu with GPU enabled and uh, the, the reason why I sh want to test C++ is because I maybe want to uh, run my program at maximum speed when I do a compiled instead of using uh, interpreted like in Python. Uh, the first thing is uh, you need uh, NVIDIA driver installed and I won't cover that because I simply don't uh, remember exactly how I did install that. You can find it on the internet. Uh, and um, then you should uh, Fine. The important thing is that you have your driver installed and you don't need CUDA toolkit installed. It's not necessary. I want to install that on, uh, on uh, an inside uh, Anaconda environment instead. The next step is to install the uh, Anaconda virtual environment. And you can find the installation guide here on this page um, for Ubuntu. And uh, you have you download uh, this. And when you have done that, you are able to um, open a terminal and you find. Uh, uh, the terminal you have this base here and then you know you are in some inside your uh, conda environment uh, this base is already installed uh, the python by uh, pytorch by python so i will create uh, a new environment so we are on uh, the same page and uh, I call that base 2 instead so now I will create an empty uh, and uh, clean new environment who will reflect uh, an empty uninstalled uh, So, uh, then we see that I will not have uh, Torch installed here, uh, and that's uh, won't, that's we need to install here. So I want to enter yes there and this will take the time so I pause the video for a moment. All right, done. And then uh, we will see that this is installed correct. That looks great. And then we should also install this. I have already done that, so uh, it will said that it's already installed. Uh, then the next step, we should check that we have all this uh, working in Python. Yes, that looks great. And then you can also check uh, version 
uh, if you want and you can also check uh, that uh, towards uh, uh, version CUDA is also installed that seems correct and you can also check other things like numpy or so but uh, it looks uh, like um, it works and then uh, we will create a new environmental with all the things containing the C++ API so uh, then we create a new environment and I will call this to instead and the thing here with clone then we take our base uh, are already installed uh, and clone it from that and then we will add some more things on it installs more uh, things inside this so So now we have a new environmental and in this we will install the C++ API. Um, and to do that we go to this uh, home page and use this command. I have already put it there. So we install that and this will take a while uh, so I will pause the video for a moment until it finish and we're down and um, we are not uh, yet have uh, this uh, uh, compiler for uh, CUDA installed so we need to go to the next step and that is this command and you will find that on this page here uh, so we do that first and uh, that will take a little time also so I will uh, pause the video for a while and now um, the NVCC compiler is installed and that's uh, great but we need uh, CU, CU DNN also so that's the third installation inside the conda and that you find on these uh, on this uh, page as well so we install that and I pause again uh, that was a fast thing to do all right so now we uh, bring uh, we we should we should be able to to test uh, the Pythors C++ and um, then I uh, open this uh, and I want to download uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. make sure we see where we should download that here we are and then uh, we should select these and download this and I will pause the video for a while and our download is completed so uh, 
then then we need to make some di directory extract our f files and then, then the next uh, thing is we get download this uh, repository the file from this and we extract it and we take these files so we have it in our folder and um, now we will able to to do our cmake command and we need uh, the correct folder the correct path absolute path path to this path is need to match so it should it looks like something like that and then we they do the make and uh, hopefully it will compile and then the next step is to run the file and uh, that's it so now we do a CPU tensor and a GPU tensor so that's what all I have for now. Thank you for watching.